Welcome to the application investigation team. I'd like you to take a few moments of the topic of discussion and we will continue this in a moment. But first, I'd like to give credit to the software developer. They have done an incredible task of bringing from their mental imagination and ideas into reality and practicality so we can enjoy not only having fun but able to do things that were never considered a reality in the present much less the, the past and I just want to say thank you they have done a good job the segment of this series is not about critiquing software developer in a negative sense but it's to explore and to give information regarding the requirement of these application that we installed in our phone let me talk about the smartphone for a little bit and that's what we call it and that in reality in a sense that's what it is it is no longer classified as a smartphone it is now an eavesdropping equipment. You are the legs, feet, arms for these things. You take them wherever they want to go and they keep track not only in your communication, not only in your text, not only in your picture, but they also keep track of your geolocation. This is not just a phone anymore you are carrying a portable eavesdropping equipment. I hate to reiterate myself, but I want the point to be very clear. I, this is not a segment neither to discourage you from buy a smartphone. I have one of those too. I am a victim like you, but I've learned in research over the years how to minimize, and I will explain that to you sometime in a segment, how to minimize data collection and your geolocation. One of the things uh, we discuss, and I show you a synopsis of uh, the topic, and uh, I'll just read off one, but there were many that went by you real fast. One allows the application to read from the system various log file. This allows it to discover general information about what you are doing with the phone, potentially included personal or private information. Please understand, some of us, uh, the, the smartphone becomes our personal friend. We're, we're very intimate with the phone in regarding relationship or communication with others. It becomes a personal segment of our life. And for example, the phone may be sitting on the table in your home and you may have in a private conversation with your mate that information, if you're not aware, by some application, can actually stream that information live, not only video, but audio, and store on another person's server. Now, the software developer may say that we only collect this information because of uh, we want to cater to your uh, browsing habit or we want to able to uh, uh, facilitate your need more efficiently as you browse the web or you go about your daily tasks, especially what you buy and uh, what you talk about. We can cater to you in that way. I don't want you to do that. I need the permission to able to delete those kind of concept that built into your software um, then you can look at it from another you can look at it from a different point of view but I know I'm not speaking uh, only about myself but I, I'm speaking for a lot of people who think the way I think or in the general sense that I do not want someone to track my every day most of us including myself are not worried about it because we're not in criminal activity so it's not a part of that that's not that's not my concern and i hope it's not your concern but my concern is i do not want you to know everything i say everything i do and every picture i take that is something personal to me but you understand or you must understand one of the criteria of doing this and when you heard the word free it is not free Whenever someone said it's a free software, there is a price, a hidden price. Not only when you pay for these application, they copy information in you, 
but when it's also free information is copied on you it's it's it, it work in a dual format whether you pay or whether you don't pay we're still collecting information on you and all this information is stored on another server and we have to be in the position of knowing and the capability of stopping that kind of uh, 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 invasion of our privacy and I hate to repeat myself but like I said most of us rather giving up our privacy for convenience and do not aware of the consequences of doing these things um, one of the things that we're not even aware of uh, and I will explain that in more details because I can't do everything in one segment of the video I will explain to you about socket what it does how information is retrieved and what critical part it pay it plays by copying your information I will also talk about um, WiMAX, which most of us and not all of us are not aware of, and how it also pay, play a critical uh, 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 part uh, of collecting information on our phone. Um, I will go into various uh, situations uh, and details of how these applications collect data and how the information is being used and I want you to take into consideration when you put your phone down when you're using your phone realize what is taking place unknown to you and in most case without your authorization until next time in the next segment this is Ted saying goodbye and we see you again